Um, a couple other things that I want to okay. make the board aware of. Go right ahead. I got uh, included in the board packets were letters of uh, support from Marquette Township, A. Lindbergh and Sons, Ely Township, and the City of Marquette. We also got a letter of support from Champion Township. Okay. I did have either calls or voice messages from the following people. Uh, calls for Brad Van Slater and uh, Gary Johnson in Republic Township. Uh, calls against uh, Leslie Dutemple from Eagle River, uh, Michigan. And then a call against from Margaret with her from Salt Lake City, Utah. So those were the uh, information that I did receive um, via the correspondence and or via the telephone. Um, staff has, uh, again, had the public hearing on September 28th, which the commission was uh, aware of. There is also uh, something that we received in 2006, a uh, petition uh, to the Marquette County Road Commission, uh, MDEQ, and the Michigan Department of Transportation, which reads, we the underside, underside oppose the use of Marquette County Roads 550 and 510 by Kennecott Minerals for transportation related to mining activities and operations. We believe the transportation of metal-laden surface ores and resulting dust over these deteriorated roads with their close proximity to streams, wetlands, and homes will cause significant damage to our natural resources, reduce tourism, and endanger human health and safety, and degrade our quality of life in Northern Marquette County. Again, that was received uh, on March 14, 2006, um, and uh, commissioners have seen that before. Uh, staff uh, has reviewed both the plan uh, for the Woodland Road and the study or the uh, supporting documentation uh, that went with it. Uh, staff is in agreement with the report that the Woodland Road alternative would seem to be the best alternative to provide access to the northwest part of Marquette County by using a combination of private roads and approximately 0 0.4 miles of County Road FY, approximately 2.5 miles of County Road CV, and public road, plus public road intersections with County Road AAD, County Road CV, County Road CW, and County Road AAA. Uh, the appendix uh, that's included in there talking about the all-season road design has been checked and meets our current design standards. We do have issues with the uh, design standards as follows. On sheet run, we need to add thermal plastic pavement markings to the snowmobile crossing to protect new pavement. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, we need a, to add a cul-de-sac or a turnaround to the end of the public road portion uh, for County Road FY. For all sheets, road signs need to be added to the public road portion of the plan. Road Commission staff will work with the developer to identify what road signs should be placed as part of the project. Staff confirms that the public road portion of the Woodland Project is designed to our all-season standard. Any variations shown in the design are within engineering reason and are acceptable to staff except as noted as above. The engineer for the Woodland Roads Project must confirm and certify that all construction is done as part of the per plan and according to MCRC standards. C. If the board approves the plan, the next steps are the developer needs to submit, to submit DEQ permits as needed. The net developer needs to obtain permits from NCRC staff. Uh, there's one that I uh, should put in there uh, also uh, about the right-of-way. There is some right-of-way that will need to be obtained, and again, uh, we will need to be part of um, the project. If the developer wishes to mitigate the cost of the public road portions of the project, uh, there may be able to submit some grant applications to the state and federal government i.e. that's what was done uh, at the federal hearing previous for the uh, project <coughs> category A grant uh, down at K.I. Sawyer. Okay. Uh, my recommendation to the board is this. I recommend that the board approve the plan to upgrade the public road portions of the Woodland Roads with the changes as noted above. It is the developer's responsibility to comply with all state and federal laws that apply to this project. The developer shall pay all required MCRC permit fees plus cover any additional costs that MCRC occurs in permitting and building the public road portions of this road, including the cost of right-of-way permits, grant, grant matches, construction, and 
construction engineering. I'll make a motion we concur with the manager's recommendation. I'll support the motion. Discussion. Jim, question is, if the, is this road going to be built whether or not the mine goes through? Uh, our, our portion? I do not know that. Is there someone here who could answer that question? Matt? Um, well, that's a good question. Uh, Matt Johnson, I work for Kennecott uh, Eagle Minerals, and I'm also a representative of Woodland Road LLC. Uh, the uh, Woodland Road is a partnership with several other companies, and so depending on whether or not the mine goes in, uh, we would have to uh, talk and partner with our other members of the company and Woodland Road LLC to discuss that question. So there's no timetable yet for the improvements, is there? Yeah, we're, uh, uh, there were comments made earlier that we were still entangled in legal issues. Uh, although there are appeals that are pending, uh, we have won all legal challenges to the state. There's been six separate legal decisions that have been in our favor. Uh, all of our state permits have been upheld by the uh, state uh, contested case judge. Uh, the DEQ now, is, now needs to affirm the judge's uh, approval of all of our state permits, and we expect that sometime this year. So we are in the 11th hour. Uh, all of our state permits so will soon be in Thank you. Any comments? <coughs> All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? Motion carries. I want to thank you all for coming tonight.